Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing today? I hope you are all having a wonderful, wonderful day. So my name is Anita, I'm the designer for um, jewelry and accessories brand, Anita Kwanza London. So today I've come to go, uh, well, I'm, I wanna go on a creative journey with you. Um, I wanna design an impromptu necklace using some recycled, well, repurposed jewelry. Um, the jewelries I'll be using, the um, the components I'll be using today, some of, some of them are, are precious stones, um, gemstones, some of them are like beads I've sourced from my travels, and some of them are also beads that I've um, sourced from thrift stores. And I thought it would be nice to actually bring them into this jewelry and show you what you can do with pieces probably you have at home or pieces that you've come across maybe while shopping or in a thrift store, shop or what we call the charity shop here in the UK. So without further ado, um, we're gonna make it start. Um, there's no um, rule to the beads and the findings I'm going to use in this project, but obviously the main tools I'll be using will be the round nose plier, I'll be using the, um, the flat nose pliers, I'll be using the side cutters pliers. And I'll also be using another round nose plier, just a uh, fl um, flat nose plier, sorry, just to open and close my jump ring. And then for stringing, I'll be using uh, my ti my tiger tail. And then I'll be using a, either a toggle clasp or I'll be using a lobster clasp. Um, I like using, for this particular one, I might use a large lobster clasp, but that's optional. I don't know yet when I'm gonna use it. But um, as I'm designing along, I will just be introducing you to the materials I'll be using. So I've got an array of beads in front of me. You might not see it, but I've got some beads here. Like I've got like beads, which is like a mixture of bead stuff from like jewelries, and I've got some um, from ju repurposed jewelries from um, like from the thrift, thrift store. Sorry, I've got some crystal glass beads beads in here. I've got a whole bag. Let me show you. A whole bag. I got this from the ch the children's air ambulance charity shop. So I've got a lot of braids. I've got some bracelets here. I've got some um, necklaces here, glass beads, precious stones. So I will be using some of them in my design. Possibly not this pearl white one because the colors I'm going for are more autumnal colors. But I've got some beads here. So I'll be using these beads as well as some of the beads here. Um, I've got quite an array of even, um, I've got some shell beads here. I've got this lovely barrel beads that's sourced from Kenya. Um, it's beautiful. I don't know whether it's, it's not wooden beads. And I think it might be coconut bead as well. So I might be using that as well. So we'll see. Um, it's going to be a mishmash of different beads. Um, that we're going to be using on this project but um, i'll be telling you what we're using as we go along okay let me clear out this table here and then we can now make it start okay so i got this pendant from the charity shop as well you, you find loads of stuff from the charity shop so i found this pendant here and it's a nice wooden pendant with mother of pearl detailing here and I had to now put this um, wire wrap here because it had like a hole there, as you can see. I had to wire wrap this spiral design here using um, um, a faceted um, beads here as just to give it like a little bit of look, give it a, like a, a, a dimension to it. And I created like a wire wrap loop here at the back as well that's gonna act as like my pendant, like my connector. So this is gonna be like a focal point for my one of my focal points for my necklace. And then I've got this beautiful barrel bead as well. I've used this like in a, one of the um, projects I, 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 I a necklace tutorial I made, but I've got this leftover, this particular one leftover. So I'm gonna be using that in my design as well. I've got a couple of beads as well. And I, it's gonna be a mishmash of different stuff, like I said. But as we go along, I'll be um, sharing with you the beads that I'll be using. Um, I'm normally an intuitive designer. I normally design as I go along, but in this case, I'm just gonna plan on my table, my beading map, um, how I'm, I want my necklace to look. So I want this to be the focal point, which is my pendant here. 
I really love this pendant. So I'm just going to walk around it. Um, I was thinking also of bringing, I had this as well. This was also, again, from my tutorial that I did earlier on. There was also like, I uh, got this beautiful um, necklace. I think it was an Indian, uh, it was an Indian themed um, um, neck. It was beautiful, be absolutely beautiful. Um, so they were, it was a combination of wooden beads, an array of different beads. So I got that necklace and I dismantled that. I'm going to be using the colorful elements in this necklace. So this too was part of it. This is not brass, neither is it um, plastic. I think this is like acrylic, but I love the textures of it. And I think with this, it's going to give our necklace like a nice aged rustic look. So I'll be putting that here. And then I also love this beautiful, this is not turquoise. It's like, um, I think, I don't know what I got to call it, ceramic bead. It's not glass, but I think it's ceramic bead. Um, again, I got this from um, Morocco a while back um, from one of the necklaces I got, like from the Berber um, tribe. So I got that, so I'm going to be bringing that into the necklace as well. And I've got this beautiful bead as well, this long tube beads i've got that and i also have this yeah so this actually this was from an old necklace as well that i sourced from um the charity shop i think it's a it's not wooden bead i think it's like a coconut bead but it's absolutely beautiful so that's going to be using this design as well and this one as well and um, this again was from an um a necklace that i sourced from the charity shop again this is like glass beads that has this beautiful marbled um, design that's been coated um, and it's got a lovely sheen to it. It's really, really nice. So that would be, we'll be bringing that into the our design. Okay, without further ado, what I normally do is I like to work on the pendant first. I start with the pendant and then I can now work outwards and then I start incorporating different elements into the design. So what I'm going to do is um, there's no really um, exact length I'm going to give you for the tiger tail. But what I normally do is I give myself enough length to work with. It's best to have enough length to work with than have less length to work with. So I'm just going to cut myself, just cut myself quite a long amount of tiger tail. And um, I haven't got my tape measure with me um, with me here, so I can't really tell you the exact dimension. But I've just, just I've just eyeballed it, and I've given myself enough. I mean, you can see here enough, plenty of um, <laughs> um, space, uh, length to work with. Sorry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. Let me just put this beads apart so we can now work on the focal part. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to now pass my tiger tail. And I'm thinking, initially I was looking at this, I was thinking, okay, do I go from this side or do I go out from, from the barrel beads outwards and then go outwards again? And I think that might be a good idea. I think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my tiger tail and pass it through this end of my, of my barrel bead. It's a lovely bead. It's resin in color. And I love the, love the deep red. It's like a combination of like it's got brownish color to it and then blackish tint to it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I grab two ends of my tiger tail, making sure that both of them are meeting each other. And I'm just going to find the middle point. And then I'm going to be mixing a lot of silver. I don't know. So I mix a lot of my, my metals. I mix silver. I mix gold. I mix brass, I mix them all together. So in this project, I'll be mixing everything together. Okay, so I've got these two lovely um, spacer beads here, bead, um, end caps, sorry. So I will be using that. So I'm just gonna thread one end. Before whilst I'm doing, I'm just gonna take my bead stopper. Um, I've got this bead stopper. So let me just thread this other side here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use my bead stopper here just to hold this end here so that I'll be able to work on this side first, plan this side first before I now work on that side, okay? So I'm just going to take my time, um, not take too much time actually, but just plan myself and figure out how I'm going to make my design work. But obviously, like I said, I want this to be my focal point. Then what I'm going to do, I've got this lovely, lovely um, um, space beads, like it's like a spirally 
barrel type space beads. I used it to design a jewelry a few years ago and I practically dismantled that jewelry this not too long before I started shooting this video. And um, it's, it's a brass in color. I like the way it looks. It looks very, very aged. The jewelry that I took, actually, I, I took out that component from, I've had that jewelry for about close to 10 years. Um, it's one of the earliest pieces that I made, but I dismantled that because I felt like I need to give the, the beads a new lease of life. So I like that. So I'm just going to bring that into the um, into this current piece here. So I'm just going to thread that onto, onto the tiger tail. Okay. And then what I'm going to do also is I've got this other, this is like, this is not metal, neither is it, um, um, glass. This is like acrylic, but I quite like the antique look it gives. So again, I repurposed that from an older, from a necklace that I found from the thrift shop. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe I, okay, I'll thread that there. I quite like the look of it. Let's see against this. So I basically, I've got silver, gold, and brass going on there. Um, does that look all right, Anita? Um, Okay, maybe let me see. Let me take out that silk with um, gold and then thread this brass and then see how it looks. Again, there'll be a lot of decision making as I'm making this because, like I said, it's an impromptu design. This is how I normally design. I talk to myself quite a bit when I'm designing my pieces. So, um, just in case if I'm talking to myself, Please, I'm not, I'm not going loony. It's just I'm kind of like um, <laughs> conversing with myself. I've got this lovely um, B caps here as well i'm gonna bring that into that let me see whether i'm gonna use that as um again i was again i got that from the um, charity shop with like a necklace actually the necklace is here that's the necklace there so i took that from the necklace there the beads from the, this from here as you can see it was an old necklace so which i've cleaned out so i'm gonna be using that incorporating that into this necklace here okay so i've got this um, detailing here this barrel okay all right so I quite like the way that's looking so I'm just gonna put the big cap again onto that the big cap as well has like some rustiness to it but I really like that because the thing is it adds a dimension and story to the um, to the piece it just shows that obviously this was once owned by somebody before before I got hold of it so it gives it that lovely um, personality so you can see here I've got that barrel bead here I've got my spaces and I've got this beautiful is not metal is acrylic um, um, bead here which has this beautiful um, dotted design so I'll be bringing that into the necklace as well all right so I'm just gonna now put my be um, this spacer this bead cap this end cap like that okay because I want that to hinge you see, you know, I've got the hole on my pendant there. So I'm just going to see whether that's going to hold that. That should be able to work. Yeah, that will work. Then I'm going to slide that part through here. Okay. Like I said, I mix all kinds. Of, I, I mix my metals together. I'm not really, I don't restrict myself to say, okay, um, just do silver or you don't mix silver or gold. I mix all my materials together. Okay, here. I think I need to put, I think I need to put a bead there. So let me just take that out uh, first. Let me see, because there's a bead there. Because if you look, if I bend my wire, there was like a gap there. So what am I going, what I might do is, I will just, let me look for, have I got a smaller bead? I don't want to use anything to, let me look in my little bag. Okay. I'm just going to take out this little bit. It's from the, the pieces that I dismantled from my from my lot from the charity store. So all those little bits, they will come in handy, like the seed beads and stuff. Again, they are beautiful. You can see that this has like silver and gold foiling detailing in there. So I really, really like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let me see. I like this coconut bead there. It's a wooden, like a coconut bead. So I might bring that into... Okay, I quite like that. I really like that. But if I bend it... If I bend it, yeah, that should be alright, I think. And then... 
I wonder if I have another one of this. Maybe use this size upper. Sorry, my table looks a bit messy, but it's okay. Um, let me try this color. Let me see whether this color goes. Otherwise, I'll have to maybe go for a darker. Let's see. Mm -mm. I don't think this color works well. Hold on. Let me see. With this as well, it's like there's a lot of... Um... Okay, I need to... All right, maybe try some seed beads. Let's see. Let's put that there. Because I really don't want anything too, like, crystally in this. I just want to keep it as natural as possible. So let me try. Let me put that big cap again and see what happens. Okay, let's see. Maybe. Let's try that. Let's try that and see. Okay, let's try that. Okay, if I bend it like that, you see, the thing is, if I bend it like that, hmm. Maybe I need to, okay, let me see, let me try, let's find something, we need something bigger there, maybe try, let me try this bead, no, I don't want to, I don't want any pearly parts in it, um, I've got rummaging through, okay, let's see, I want to, I don't want to have too many because the colors is going to be work. I'm going to be working with it. Uh, let me try this gold again. Let me try this gold again. Normally, if you're planning your um, piece, you can use the beading board to plan. But like I said, this is going to be an impromptu design. I don't even know what it's going to look like, to be honest with you. I don't know what it's going to look like. But the thing is, I love that element of surprise as well. I love that element of surprise. But if you're not confident to um, to design impromptu, impromptly, <laughs> oh my God, is that, even gonna, is that even a word? Yeah, it should be a good kind of, I think. I just, come, I just make up my own words. Okay, so I've put that there. Let's see. Because I think, because if I bend it, I don't want it to... Okay, I need to feel like you need something there. Let's try this gold. Okay, with the gold, it might give it like a nice um, bend. Okay, let's see. Okay. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's see, let's try that and see how it looks. Because I really, really wanted to, I want to use this, um, this detail, this bead there. Okay, I think this works. I think this is much better. Let's try. Because with any design, it's all about trying and then when you try and see what works. And then let's try again. Okay, so I quite like that. Okay, so let's see. Put it here. Okay, that's much better, I think. Okay, so that's much better. I'm just going to now put that through here. Let me see whether if I fold it, if I bend my tiger tail, how it will sit. Okay, the big cap is like that. The bead is going to be like that. Okay, I'm just thinking whether I need, maybe put another coconut bead there. Just to hinge the, um, you know, the, the silver loop there just to hold it together okay all right i think that might work i think that will work okay so what i'm going to do again i'm just going to take my bead stopper i'm just going to hold this part here okay um let me repeat the same pattern i did on the opposite side so put my bead through like so following exactly the same pattern and then Okay, and then I'll repeat the same. I love these B caps, um, these end caps, because when you when you use it, you can use it on its own to make earrings, or you can use them like like I said, it's like that. It comes, as you can see, there's loads of it. And if you manage to get one necklace like that, you can use that cap for <laughs> for a very very long time. I have some necklaces that I got like years ago, like from a vintage store that is made out of the big caps. 
And then what I've done was that big cap, I've still got loads of it till today. Okay, so what I've done is I've done that. So I've put that big, um, the silver, the big cap and that, okay. Then I'm going to take out my bead stopper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinsert this other wire here. So let me just hold this side with my bead stopper, okay. So I'm just going to take my wire here. I'm just going to pass it back through because you see this same wire that came out of that loop there, yeah. I'm going to pass it through this other beads again. So it's like in a way doubling up my my um, wire. So I'm passing that same uh, wire through like that. Passing it through this other bead like so. And then out from the other side as well. So I'll repeat the same process for the other side as well. Okay. So I'm just doing that and then I'll pass it through here and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pass it through this uh, bigger barrel bead there and I'm going to pull it out like so, okay? Let me take out my bead cap, my bead end, my bead stopper. Let me move all this out of the way, okay? And I'll repeat the same thing for this side. I'm going to take my tiger tail, this opposite side of the tiger tail pass it through the um, loop again and then pass it through the beads like I did on the opposite side okay I mean it's just like you can give a new lease of life to any piece of jewelry you come across and I love the fact that some of them have like aged some of them have stories that goes with them some of them are very aged and um, they have that rustic look to it. I love that because that adds like to the uniqueness of the, bear with me, I'm just trying to, okay. It adds to the uniqueness of the design, I feel anyway. And um, when you repurpose the jewelry, it gives it a new lease of life. You know, you'd be amazed the kind of um, the pieces people let go of, okay. So what I've done is, you see, I've got this. Let me move this. So I've got both of my wires, tiger tail here. I'm just going to pull them. Okay. So when I pull them, I have, I'll create this design here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass my wire because there's a hole on one on my um, B cap. So I'm just going to pass the tiger tail through that loop. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well. Pass my tiger tail through the loop like so. And then I'm going to pull, all right? Okay, I'm going to pull it like so, all right? Like that. So when I pull it tightly, because I've got my double, my tiger tail going through one end, one end going through that way and the other side coming through that way, and then both of them meeting in the middle, and I've just swapped my tiger tails and then passed them through that way again. So what it does is it gives it that nice, steady look. All right, then what I'm going to do, I've got my main component down here. As you can see, that's my, my focal point there. Then what I'm going to do, start doing is I'm going to start planning how I want this part of my necklace to look. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I love these beads here. I love these two beads. I love these two beads. I was thinking initially maybe to do that because when I had these beads, I was looking at them thinking, oh my goodness, there's so much. I get so excited when it comes to beads and stuff. Like I get honestly, passionately excited as in excited. So what I'm going to do is I've got these two beads here as well from that necklace, um, from the necklace that I broke, I broke from my lot from the, from the um, charity store. So either I bring that in or what I can do is I can bring in the turquoise color here. But I think the turquoise, I'm, I would like to bring in the turquoise somewhere here. But let me go with it. Let me see how this darker color looks here. I really like that darker color there. I really like that darker color here. Let me see. Okay, let me see what it looks like when I pass that through the tiger tail. Okay, when I pass that through the tiger tail. Okay, that looks nice. Let me pass that through the other side as well. Okay, so I love this bead. It's like glass bead. Like I said, it's gonna be a mishmash of different types of bead. Okay, let me. What I'm gonna do? I'm using my bit my 
bit stopper just to hold that side and then I'll work on that side first if I'm not happy with it I can always remove and da, da, da. Okay. no let's try here okay so again using bits again bits that I've used from my um from the broken jewelry and then bringing them into so I've just threaded like a big cap again I've had this big cap for quite some time um, in the necklace that I made that I just dismantled um, I've had that necklace for about I made it about 10 years ago so I dismantled that so I quite like that just hope I have another yeah so whenever you're making your pieces always make sure that you have especially if you're working with symmetrical design make sure that you have enough for both sides because there's nothing worse than unless if you're going for that look where you don't you're having like a mismatch of um looks okay i like that oh, i like the way that looks okay then what i'm going to do is i was thinking i had um <coughs> i was thinking because i i wanted to have I wanted to have my design having like a double but i really don't i think that color doesn't quite go with um okay what we can do is let's leave that for now let's just stick with the color theme <laughs> let's just stick with the color thing i'm going with okay mm. all right so let me see <clears throat> okay if i got there i've got one of the wooden beads here um, I'm just gonna make sure I empty all my lot from. <laughs> make sure that I'm not missing out anything. Okay, so I've got this necklace from the from the sh charity shop. They yeah, love it. Honestly, it's like glass beads. Oh dear, okay, I've got this color. I think that would look quite nice with this necklace. This thing. Okay, so I can do this. Um, I might bring that out. We'll have to dismantle it and then incorporate that into because I want I wanted to use this one, but there isn't any other size. So but with this ones, there's quite a lot of um sizes I can use here. It's like it's got a combination of Murano beads and oh it's beautiful. And I love, 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 love. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anita. All right, calm down now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just trying to see whether, okay, what I can do. Let me find, I'm going to dismantle this necklace. I'll dismantle it. I'll just find a container to put it. I'm gonna dismantle that necklace. Um, I'm gonna keep that. Okay, I'll dismantle that necklace here. <clears throat> okay, I'll keep this part here because maybe for a future project I might be working on. Let me put that there. So I'm just gonna take all that out. Let's just break it up. All these beads are gonna be used, nothing goes to waste. So I'm just going to reuse them again. So I'm just going to take all the beads out. Sorry. Sorry about the noise. Um, <laughs> it's like the glass against the... Okay, sorry. So I'm just going to pull all those beads out. Okay. Oh, they, they were strong on the thread. So it's not like... It makes it a bit like... I'm so sorry. Bear with me. Sorry about the noise. Um, get this one here because I really need all the beads from there. So that's why I'm trying to see whether I can pull out as much as possible. Okay, okay. Um, <clears throat> um, please do bear with me whilst I do. <laughs> I pull all these things out. Should I've just Again, it's like I said, it's an impromptu design, so it wasn't planned. So, um, okay, so I've got that, all those beads there. Fantastic. Okay. All right, excuse the messy table. So I've got this part here. 
and then what I can do is there's some bits in there but I think because I've used that silver cup there now I don't want to use that again and then what I can do is I've got these two shaped barrel beads there glass beads so I might use that there actually and then let me put the spacer here and then let me try that barrel bead there okay yeah that goes really well I like that I just hope I have the same <laughs> end of barrel beads actually I wonder if I put that um okay let me try something you know this big cap you know that um end cap that I've been I like I like the brown. let me see it against the um the bead Let's see what it looks like oh it looks quite nice I really like that I really do like that but I was just thinking as well is whether I can actually bring in that cap there I really do let, let me try something bear with me please um okay let me try because I really like the way that brass was looking so let me try that against this one Let's see. Um, oh, that looks quite nice. That really looks nice. Okay. All right, that looks really nice. And then what I can do is just to separate that bit. So I'm just gonna put that space a bit there. Again, that space a bit is not plastic. It's not like metal, but I quite like the aged look of it. So I'm just going to thread that onto, <clears throat> okay, I like the ways, I like, okay, see I've done the end caps there, the spaces, the um, bit um, end caps there, so I think I'll go with that look, alright, okay, and then maybe put another spacer there, and So I have enough of that spacers. Okay. And then do I bring in this one here? Because I really like that bead. I really, really like that bead. Um, having done that now, I don't think it goes with the look of the necklace anymore. But you know what? I might... Um... Oh, okay. I might use that still. I will definitely use that still. Nothing goes to waste. Okay, so let's see. Because like I was saying, I wanted this to be like a multi-row. Okay, let me try turquoise. Because let's put in the turquoise there. I like this. It's like a turquoise. It's like a clay bead. It's a beautiful clay bead. Because I got that with my Moroccan. Um, I got this beautiful necklace. I got from Marrakesh um, when I went a few years ago and I got the necklace and I took apart, took it apart and I've used the um, <clears throat> the beads in a lot of my work that I've done okay so I like the way it's looking here okay I like the turquoise I think the turquoise kind of breaks it down a bit I think all right, let's move all these beads out of the way. Okay, let's get that. And then I've got this as well. Again, I want my necklace not to be too long. Not to be too long. Okay, quite like that. Um, so just put that. Okay, I've got the two turquoise. Okay, let me do the other side and see because once I've, I've done this side let me see how it looks once I've done this other side so let me take out this bit on this side because I I need to put the, <clears throat> the big caps again on it okay so basically you can just use anything you have at home your broken jewelry like I always say like whenever you have like jewelry uh, even earrings odd pair of earrings and maybe you've gone out and you've lost a pair of earrings you've come home and there's only one earrings you've got that's happened to me so many times and you know what i used to get so frustrated with it but in the end i was like you know what anita 
all is not lost. You can still use that pair of earrings for something else. And I end up using some of them for my pendants, for my own personal jewelry that I've made for myself. And, um, and actually it looks, it looks really nice. You know, I don't sit there like crying over earrings I've lost and unless if it's a precious stone, oh my goodness, unless if it's diamond, yes, I'll cry over it. <laughs> but, um, but I always try to see, look at things from a different perspective, you know, like instead of getting so upset about it, I'll be like, okay, I can use what I already have. Like I said, if it's not diamond or you know, precious stone that's cost you tons and tons of money. And sometimes, okay, it might be an item that has maybe passed down from family member you've lost, but again, that becomes, okay, so I quite like that. Yes, I really like that. <laughs> okay, then obviously that will, any jewelry with sentimental value, that will hurt when you lose it. Um, so I've just put the big gap there, bear with me. Okay, so I like the way it's looking. So that's the arrangement of it. I don't know whether you can see that. So that's the bead there. Let me move all this because I've got so many things on my table. <laughs> I've got so many things on my table. For me, when I'm working, you need to see, I mean, I'm using another desk to work, but my main design table is chaotic. I like the chaos. They say magic happens in chaos, right? I love the chaotness of it. Okay, so I really like the way that's looking at the moment. I like the fact that I brought in the turquoise because the turquoise now breaks down the colors. So what I can possibly do is, because I really want my necklace, is it's going to be two row necklace. So what I can do is I can see whether I can fill in some bits here. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Okay, so I'm just looking at what I have on my table here. And let's move this our necklace down a bit. Okay, so we've got this part here. Um, what I can do is I can just stack up the... With the... Um, let me try and see. Okay, with the big cap. Let me, put that. Let me put the coconut bead in the middle, like so, and then put the big cap again there. Okay, I've got this two turquoise, maybe to balance it out. Let me bring that into here. Yeah. These are not like real turquoise. I think this is like um, it's like a glass bead of some sort. I quite like the way it's looking. Do I like that there? Oh, I've got this bead there as well. I've got this lovely glass bead. Maybe bring that in. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. That's what. That's nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead because I feel I think I've decided I'm gonna have this side threaded with loads of like quite a few like um um my big cap. So that's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna do that off camera, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, so on this side, I've gone ahead, I've threaded um, this side here. Um, on this side, I've used um, 22 of the bead caps, um, the bronzy, brassy bead caps. So that's what I've done. I've got, I've got the small, um, I think it's like, it's, it's a faceted stone. Um, but I've used that there as well to kind of break down, break up the, the, the brassness, the brass tones. So I've done the same thing on both sides. I've got 22 of the big caps on this side here. So once I've done that, the necklace actually looks like that. That's what it looks like. But I really want it to be like a two-layered um, necklace. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, again, I'm going to now plan my design, how I want the second row to be to look like so ideally I would like my second row to start from there so I'm just gonna start it from here um, attach it onto the pendant so I was looking at the beads some of again some of the beads I have um, I was thinking of this one bringing in the wooden bead there like I said this, this necklace is like a, a combination of different finds beads and materials from um, vintage from mixed match of beads i've sourced from vintage stores charity stores 
so i'm thinking of putting that here and then i'm placing these two maybe put that here and there um, maybe these two there like that i like the color of that wood and i like the the space um the space a bit there and i was also thinking also of bringing in because i know i brought in silver there but i don't want to bring in this brass i think that would be for a different um look i was thinking about this bead but um i'm not going to use that anymore um i was thinking of bringing that in here but i felt like it would it could be it could look really nice there but not yet but i found these coconut beads as well so i really like the look of them sorry my hand was on the camera then um i really like the look of them so i was thinking of placing them like that on the side here like that and i'm gonna put like um a space a bit in between to kind of break it up break up the wood um so i'm just gonna bring in that my brassy tone spaces i really i want to keep the colors quite muted um but a little bit of like obviously this is like a lot brighter and you've got the turquoise um so thinking of again bringing in the turquoise there hold on i need uh okay so maybe put that there and then bring in the turquoise there do the same thing for that side that's more of a darker color bringing the turquoise on that side so i'm just kind of like planning it and seeing how it looks before I start stringing it again if you have your beading board obviously it makes it easier I had this other color as well but I felt like the it was a bit too chunky for the um, necklace so I might bring that in make another necklace out of that but I really like the way that's looking um, I love my contrast in beads I love working with different um, beads and textures and colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just string it. I'm just going to go ahead and start stringing it because, again, like I said, it's like an impromptu design. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut myself enough length. So again, I don't have the dimension. I can't I can give you dimension of how many, how much I'm cutting for my tiger tail. But what I've done is I've cut myself enough length to use um to do my stringing so it's best to have enough to work with and have less to work with so what i'm going to go ahead and do next is i'm going to bring my crimp tube my crimp bead so i'm going to thread my crimp bead onto my tiger tail okay let me move that to one side okay so i've got my crimp tube there and then what i'm going to try and do here is i'm going to place my tiger tail so you see in between this um um my um to my space a bit there i'm gonna place it right just up underneath that but just above the big cap okay then i'm gonna pull it out so it, it slides in the middle like so like that okay and i'm gonna take my smaller end of my tiger tail i'm gonna pass it through the crimp bead and I'm just going to just pull and then use my finger, making sure that the wires are not overlapped. And I'm going to use my finger and just slide the bead down. Okay, so when I slide the bead down, you see the bead, the crimp bead is sitting right in the middle of both of the, I don't know what I can see, my hand is in my way, in the way, it's sitting right in the middle, like so being between the bead cap and then the bead. So I'm just going to go ahead and just flatten it. I'm gonna flatten again, making sure that both of my wires, okay, I'll flatten it with my, okay? And then what I could possibly do is I'll use, maybe I'll use a big cap actually. I've got like a bronzy big cap. I don't know where, whether I have it on. Okay, I've got my bronzy big cap here. Hopefully this will be the right size of the um, cream cover. Got my cream cover there. So I just needed to kind of give it like, um, Let's see whether that's gonna so I'm gonna slide my crimp cover onto my crimp bead. It's just to give it like and then close it. So it gives like it covers the bead cap, the, the crimp bead, sorry. And then what it does, the crimp cover does is it gives it like a nice finished look. So my um my cream cover, once I've closed it, it now adds like a bead, it looks like a bead. 
um, that will not add to the design as well. So I'm just going to go around and just close the cream cover. So into a, into a ball shape, as you can see there, I've hidden, I've closed it round, gone round. So when you're doing, I normally did, there's also a tool that you can use, which is like the, um, the crimping tool. Um, but, um, I haven't got that with me at the moment. It's in my, in my studio. So I'm in a different room, me filming this. So, okay. So I've got that done. So making sure again, I have to make sure that my crimp cover is completely closed. So you can always go around and then mold it gently with your flat nose plier. Okay. So once you've done that, you've got like a nice ball shape like that. And then what I'm going to go ahead and do next is I'm going to go and put my insert, my wooden bead, which is, I hope it's the same color as the one I want to use on the opposite side. Yeah. So I'm going to thread that shorter wire from my, um, the shorter end of my tiger tail through my, um, wooden bead, my wooden barrel bead like that. So as you can see that cream cover there gives that lovely, lovely look. So, and then what I'm going to do next, I'm going to pass my end of my tiger tail through my space i love that um rhinestone spacer again i've had, to, had that spaces for years like i said i just pulled apart like my old like jewels i've made for years i pulled them up that's what i do sometimes i feel like okay sometimes especially if it's like a jewelry that i haven't i haven't sold or jewelry that i felt like okay i need to refresh again to look quite new then i just pull it apart Okay, so that two beads, I like the way it looks there. So I might just get my spacer, put that spacer there. I like that spacer there, I'm just thinking. Okay, I'll put that there. And then maybe put my brass bead cap. You know, the metal bead cap that would be using that one. And then facing up like so. And then, because I really want my, I really want the coconut bead to align with this bead here. So I just need to place that side to the side. Okay, that's fine. Then what I'm going to do with my coconut bead facing that po that position like this. So I'm just going to take my tiger tail and insert it through the loop like that. Okay. And then, mm, no gizmo, so no gizmo, don't bark. Oh, my dog has had somebody open and close the door. And then, okay, all right, Gizmo, all right, okay, so what I'm going to do next is, um, let me see whether I have enough of that spaces. I've used that spaces, I used tons of it on the project that I did, um, so I don't have enough of that there. Okay, that's okay, it's all right. I was thinking of that, you know, like the spaces, spaces here, I was thinking if I have more of it, but I don't have any more. Then what I can do is I'm just going to continue using the B-caps, because I, I, the brass B-cap, I really like that. So I'm just going to thread that through like so. Again, making sure that everything is aligned. Okay, Anita, does that align? Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. That looks all right. And then I'm going to bring in this darker color. So when I'm working on, whenever I'm making my jewelry, I have to make sure that the colors align with each other. Um, I'm thinking I've got like these coconut beads here, but I don't know whether I have enough of it. I've got the coconut beads here. Maybe bring that in in between the um, that glass bead, and then see. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, I prefer that. It's a better choice. So I put that there. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm working with like odd pieces like this, especially like pieces I found, and um, I have to make sure that they colors i have enough of the materials because there's nothing worse than working on something and then you realize you don't have enough unless if that's the look you're going for then that's fine so i'm just going to put my turquoise um stone bead there so that's aligning with that side like so okay i really like the way it's looking and i am going to put the spacer again onto my I need to move on my pliers there's so many pliers on my table <laughs> it's too many pliers okay let me move them out of the way okay so I'm just putting that there all right I'm just gonna move that so you can see that in the frame of the camera all right so I've got that turquoise there 
and I've got this bead here so I'll make sure that I don't use that bead I have oh I thought I had two of that okay I have two of that so I'm just gonna bring in that there as well so let me see how many of the two the the wooden beads I have um, okay I have two which I can use on that side and I've only got one that I can use okay that's not gonna be enough really um, I think what I can possibly do is let's see let's see I can possibly bring in the you know as like those brassy oldish looking spaces from the necklace that I broke I tore apart I can bring that in now into the necklace so this piece here I really like the aged look of it it looks very aged so I might bring that into here into that side I've got two four five okay let me just keep one because I don't want to I don't want to um confuse my design <laughs> okay I'm just gonna thread that old part let me see what it looks like first with with this mm, let's see that, that look all right um no no I think what I can do let me just try it on his own and see what it looks like actually so um okay I'm really not I like that color but mm, mm, um okay still this for me when I'm making stuff I have to I make a lot of decisions like along the the way and just to figure out okay let's see okay that looks quite nice that looks quite nice okay so what I've done there was I've put the big cap on this side as you can see but I don't know whether to put something in the middle because I need to put something in the middle hold on how many of that coconut so I've got these two wooden beads there hmm Okay, I feel like it needs something. It needs something else. Okay, let me see if I can find another bead from here. Like maybe a small bead I can put in between. Because I don't want, I want to break down the brassiness of it. So I'm just going to take this one. I've got some small, 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 small beads in here. Okay, let's try that out. So I've got this small bead here. It's very, very. So I've got that small bead there. So I put that bead there, that cap there, the bead there, and then the cap and then small bead there as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. I'm going to insert another. Um, I've got this lovely um, glass um, teardrop bead there. Um, faceted teardrops. I'm going to insert that through, and I'm going to get another brass insert another brass bead on that side and I'm going to put this um, lovely mustardy color and then I'm going to put another bead cap to close this other side as well okay for this opposite side so I've got this cap the teardrop the cap the bead and then the, the cap as well okay and then I'm going to go ahead and place another um, teardrop so my teardrop is facing this way so if, so it's looking like that okay and I think I'm gonna go ahead and now thread so I just get more of the big cap I need to take the, the parts from the necklace take that away so I don't need that okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and thread onto my big my tiger tail the big cap so I'll thread quite a few of them um so like that so I keep repeating that because so. they've got quite small holes in them so you just have to make sure that your tiger tail um fits if it doesn't fit because sometimes some of them the hole might be a bit too small um and just thread take your time and just thread that through so when you're threading that it looks like that so i love the colors oh my goodness this is gonna look so lush with like any outfit that you put it on so i'm just gonna go ahead and keep threading that because i really want it to be aligned with um because this part here i use 22 for this one i use 22 so hopefully i should use 
maybe the same amount as well um, for that side so that I want it to be the same to be leveled the same okay so I just keep threading that onto my tiger tail um, just keep doing that okay so as I'm doing that I'll place it next to my necklace okay so it's just keep going on the uh, almost there all right so I'm just gonna keep placing thread in the um, so hopefully I want to see how many I need to thread on 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. The first one was 22, so the next one will be 20. So I don't know how many I've done so far. I just need to count. Um, okay, let me thread a few more, then I can now go ahead and now count. Um, bear with me, do bear with me. Okay, so how many have I done? Two. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. So I need to do two more. So two more um, of my big cap. And then that's it. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Fantastic. So let me move that out of the way. All right. So once I've done all that, making sure that my shorter part of my tiger tail is tucked into my beads making sure that everything is fitting snugly. All right, so what I can then do is I'll just take my bead stopper and then I'll take those two wires like that, like that, okay? I've already done the other side of the, of the necklace in the same. So once you've done that side, you do the opposite side as well. So your opposite side will look like that, okay? So you've got this both sides like that. All right, that's what both of them both sides should look like and then what I'm going to do is um, for this ends here I'm gonna thread onto my so that I've got the two wires here so I'm just gonna thread onto my two wires a bead a faceted bead like that so so basically I want it to sit like that you know like my necklace would be like that okay so I'm just looking at it thinking, do I need, maybe I need, okay, so if you look at it, um, it has like, I don't know that you can see closely, because um, these are like little things I think about when I'm making something. So you see there's a gap there. If I squeeze my bead on top, there's still a gap there. So what I might end up doing is, I might end up putting like a bead. So I'm just going to my bead soup here. I've got like some small, small beads from the necklace I broke I tore apart earlier so I'm just gonna insert a couple of those beads maybe one on each eye um, each tiger tail so I need four so I just thread one here just one on my tiger tail on the first tiger tail and then the second tiger tail I'll thread another one on the second tiger tail I'll see if it needs it Okay, let me see. I think what I can do is, let me take that big cap again. I'll take one of my big cap and then insert my, two of my um, tiger tail, ends of my tiger tail onto the big cap. I want to try something. Okay, I think this is much better because initially what I did was I put the, um, the two wires and I put the bead and there was a space there and that really, really, as a creative, I do have an OCD and that will really, really do my head in. So what I've done is I've put the two beads on top of the big caps, like so. And then I've placed the big cap there facing upwards. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to place my bead. Okay, let me just trim off this wire here because it's not level, okay. So I'm just going to put my place my bead through like that, okay. So you can see it sits on top of the big cap like that. And then I'm going to take another big cap and then cover the top of it. Okay. All right, let's see. Let me get one big cap with a bigger hole because, like I said, a lot of them are different in terms of the hole size. Okay, really, once you pass one through, then obviously the second one <laughs> becomes a bit tricky. But it will fit. Trust me, it will fit. It's just that it's a bit and my eyesight as well, although I've got my glasses on. 
Okay, it will fit. Bear with me. It's a bit of a doddle. Okay, here. So I'll pull two of them out. So I'm just going to use my bead stopper. I'm going to hold on to that side again. And I'm going to repeat the same thing that I did on this side, on the opposite side as well. Okay. So again, making sure that both of them are aligned. And I'll just get my one end of, one end of my tiger tail. And then I'll put the other smaller bead on one tiger tail. And I'll put another bead on the other tiger tail as well. So I've got my two small beads on two of my tiger tails. So I'm just going to slide them down. Oh, oh, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, so I've done that. So it's looking like that. So I'm just going to repeat exactly the same thing. Okay, I need to trim this wire down because one of my wires is a lot longer. So I'm just going to save that because I'm going to use that for my next project that I'm going to be working on. And then I'm going to now thread my big cap the end cap there and then take the beads again and then slide the bead on like so so exactly the same thing we did on the opposite side is what we're doing again and then I'm going to now get my um, bead cap again and then I'm going to thread both of them um, of my ends of my details of my wire through okay so once I've done that both and both of my necklaces will look like that so that's what it looks like once I've done that so that's what it looks like okay so I'm just going to I think to we're well, coming close to finishing it off now and um, I'm thinking of adding another bead on top but I need to add let me say I need to I, I really you don't need to but I feel like I need to okay so I've got this other bead here this other one here so I'm just gonna insert my um bicone it's like a bicone shape yeah through like that so like I wanted like the necklace to have this feel of like it's been excavated from somewhere like something that is very old it's been excavated and they've just discovered it and we're just kind of like about to enjoy it so that's the look I'm going for all right so once I've done that then what I can then do is I'll get my cream bead I'll get my cream bead okay I've got multiple sizes cream beads here on my bead on my um, cream bead thing so I'm gonna insert two of my white tiger tails through my cream bead okay Normally this, and you can, depending on the necklace I'm working on, working on, I can use a wire guardian, but with this one, I'm not going to use a wire guardian. I'm just going to go ahead and just um, attach my toggle clasp. Um, this toggle clasp, it came like in a very bright gold color. Then what I did was using my, um, my cloth, my polishing cloth, I really, really wiped it. To kind of give it like a very very aged kind of as you can see it's got like tons of goldy rose gold silvery tones so i wiped it off purposely <laughs> i wiped it off purposely because i really wanted to have that aged look so that's what i did i used like a polishing cloth to wipe it off so it took off the the top coat um coat then what i do depending on how i wear my necklace i normally wear the necklace on okay it depends with the toggle clasp it depends on the side because you can either go on this one that way, but it's okay. So I'm just going to take the tips of my tiger tail. I'm going to insert it through the loop on the toggle clasp. Okay. I'm going to pull it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of my tiger tails. I'm going to insert it back through the crimp tube, crimp bead. And then I'm going to pass it through the bicone glass bead. And I'm going to pull. Okay. Like that. Okay. When I'm... When I'm about to crimp, I'm going to make sure that I give myself enough wiggle room, not too tight. Okay, I don't want my toggle class to be too tight against the bead. So I still want it to have like a little bit of movement here. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my flat nose plier. I'm going to now flatten my crimp bead. Okay, and then this part of the wire here, I'm going to trim that off. I still keep those wires because... I have a little pot where I put everything in and I use them for future projects. You can use them for earrings, for little bits of um, 
bit you're working on okay and what I'm going to do next I'm gonna cover that crimp tube with my bead cover my crimp cover sorry so I'm just gonna take my crimp cover again holding my crimp cover like so with my plier like that with the mouth the mouth the open part open with the open part facing upwards sorry and I'm gonna insert the open part through my crimp tube like so, my crimp bead like so, my flattened crimp and I'm gonna pinch it close a little bit okay when I pinch it close it looks like that and I'm gonna go ahead if I had the crimping tool, I would have used the crimping tool, but my crimping tool is not around here with me. Um, so I'm just going to use my flat nose plier just to go around, making sure that I've covered, I've rounded up the crimp cover so it looks like a bead. It gives you that a nice illusion of a bead, okay? So you just do it slowly. Don't do it like really harshly. Just a little bit. Just go around flattening it, okay? It's a bit of a, you have to practice with this because sometimes you can get it right. Sometimes it doesn't work out as well, but it's got a nice round feel, which is what we're going for. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat the same thing from the opposite side. What I'm going to do next, I think I'm going to thread, cut down my tiger tail a bit because it's a bit too long again. Keeping those little bits because I need them for my future projects. So again, I'm going to now insert two of my my wires through the bicone so exactly what we did on the opposite side we're just doing it here okay so doing that like so like that making sure i pull my wires and everything is closer together and i'm gonna go ahead and just grab my crimp bead i've got multiple sizes in that <laughs> container <laughs> okay and then I've, once i've threaded my crimp bead onto my tiger tail I'm gonna go ahead and insert my two of my my um, two ends of my wire through the looped end on the other opposite side of the the other part of my toggle clasp. So then, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two ends of my wire, insert it back through my crimp crimp bead, insert it through the bicone bead, and then I'm going to now pull. Okay, again repeating what I did the first time round. Making sure that I give my, my my toggle enough room to maneuver around, okay? Then what I'm going to do is making sure that it's enough room, the same allowance I gave on the first one is what I'm giving. Okay, that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten my crimp with my flat nose plier. And then this little bit here, I'm going to now trim it off. Again, keeping my wires because I always need it for different projects. You'll be so sick of hearing me saying that throughout my whole, uh, my videos. Okay, so it looks like that. So I'm going to, again repeating the same thing I did on the opposite side, using my cream cover. Again, with the mouth, the this part facing up, up upwards, I'm going to insert it through my cream bead like so, my cream bead, my flattened cream, and I'm going to pinch it close a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just mold it around a little bit. Okay. Just mold it into a nice bead shape, closing the gaps. All right. So once I'm happy with it, I've got my toggle there. So that's my toggle there. My crimp cover has been closed. So I've got my two ends of my toggle clasp there, my fastening there. And then that's the necklace. So that's our necklace done. I really, really like the way it looks. It looks absolutely amazing i'm gonna put it on the bust on the display bust and then for you to have a look and see what it looks like but that's what it looks like this is oh my goodness it's so fun making this necklace i absolutely enjoy it again these are pieces from the charity shop or from the thrift store it's an accumulation of different beads accumulation of resin beads clay um uh, coconut beads um wooden beads um, stone beads, metal beads, so it's all kinds of beads and used in this piece. So I'm just going to put it on the display box for you to see what it looks like. So this is what the finished design looks like. This is the necklace here. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the way it's come out. I love the design of it. I love the colors. 
I love the materials and the tone, the tonal hues that we use here. Oh my goodness, it is so fun. And that's the back of it. That's the way the back looks as well. It's a perfect length because obviously with this as well, it will sit lovely on the chest area and especially with the pendant. But this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. I really do hope you enjoy making your own spectacular piece made out of all the lovely treasures and finds you're going to have when you venture out to the charity shop or thrift store or a vintage store. I look forward to seeing your amazing creations. Honestly, do tag me. I'm on Instagram under Anita Kwanza London or on Facebook Anita Kwanza London. Please do tag me. I would love to see your beautiful, beautiful creations. Oh my goodness. I am so loving this. Really, really loving this. But anyway, if you love this video and you're inspired by this video, please do show me some support and then do like, comment and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you on the next creative project. Thank you so much for joining me on this amazing, amazing journey and have the most amazing day. Take care and have a good day. Bye.